YouTube, dude, my fan, welcome back. You new to the channel? Just call me Kim So look, now today I want to talk about the movie They Live. Now, if y'all haven't seen it, I'ma you know explain everything. But the reason why I want to talk about the movie They Live is because um it has a a lot of underlying truth in this movie. And, and keep in mind, this movie came out in 1988. Uh, they Live was written and directed by John Carpenter, and it was basically about uh, an unnamed guy who discovered through some special sunglasses that he found that the ruling class are aliens concealing their appearance and manipulating people to consume, breed, and conform to the status quo via subliminal messages and mass media. So, I mean, doesn't that kind of sound like what's going on right now and the thing about this movie was uh it was distributed by universal pictures so this was like a this is a big movie in 1988 this wasn't just a random rinky dink you know dude from across the street that made this movie uh it debuted it actually debuted number one at the north american box office and it grossed worldwide it grossed 13 million dollars which is in today's money that's about 29 million dollars you know what i'm saying so like i said bro this this ain't just no you know original just some dude down the street you know what i'm saying like this 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 movie debuted number one and what's interesting about the cover itself it says you see them in the street you watch them on tv you think they're people just like you but you're wrong you're dead wrong and through these glasses right here, peep the one eye symbolism. But if you look through his glasses that he's looking at, he's seeing people for who they really are. You see what I'm saying? So let's dive into a couple scenes in this movie, you know. Um, so as he looks, he starts looking through these glasses and he goes around the city. He starts noticing like the billboards that's. Uh, in the city, the the posters, you know, the the advertisement that he's seeing. But when he when he puts his glasses on, he sees like the real agenda behind, you know, like the subliminal messages that that some people, most people, don't see. So basically, all the how do you say it, bro? All the like the so the the, the society norms. Like this, this is how you are programmed to be, you know, um, consume, you know, they want you to do nothing but consume. Everything is about you being the consumer. That's why all you see is advertisements everywhere you go, everywhere you look, even on this platform right here. You know what I'm saying? You see advertisements. It's, it's, it's taught. Society has taught you to be nothing but a consumer. Um, and as he walks through, he sees all the magazines and it's telling him to buy doubt humanity, obey authority, no independent thought. That was a big one, like no independent thought, like they don't even want you to be your own like own person, like a free thinker. You know, this is this is literally what they want you to do. Everything that you see right here, submit no ideas. You see what I'm saying? Like this is these are the people that they want you to be stay asleep you know what i'm saying like this is what they want and as bro is looking at his magazine do not question authority you know that was another one i was like damn like this is crazy like this is crazy how they putting all this in a movie no imagination like they don't even want you to have your own ideas they don't want you to have like your own imagination what that say right there did y'all see that in the back it said, let TV teach you. Let the TV teach you. Don't worry about learning anything. Just let the TV do it for you. Let the TV think for you. Watch the news. Believe it. As we move on, he it's a guy that walks up to him. And when bro has his sunglasses on, he can see people for who they really are. So some people that's walking amongst us aren't who we think they are. You know, but he's portraying himself like he's a normal person. You see what I'm saying? Like he's walking, talking. 
he would look like a normal person to the normal eye, but since he, but since he got these sunglasses on, he could see people for who who they really are. And he walks away. Another guy, he's a normal human, you know, the other guy that he sees. But the other guy, he doesn't see that he's right in front of, you know, some type of alien or reptilian or whatever the case may be. As he gives him the money, it, it, it shows the money. Boom. This is your God. The money is your God. Isn't it funny that without the sunglasses, right? You look at the dollar bill and it says, in God we trust. But here, the money is your God. The money, you slave for the money. It, it, this is what society has programmed us to do is to work for money the money's our god now we worship money people sell their souls for money people would do anything for money but people won't do anything for god people won't do everything for god so the money is your new god so as bro walks around in the city he starts going to grocery stores when he looks at the news and he sees the people in the news. The news reporters are aliens. You know, they're not real people. So he starts really seeing shit for, for what it is. And as you can see on the TV, it say sleep eight hours. That's what they, they want you to sleep eight hours. They want you to have the same schedule, the same routine every day. You know, he's looking at the TV, the TV telling you to obey. They're telling you to believe everything that you see everything that that man on that tv telling you obey it listen to it you know then he starts then he this is when he really starts realizing like okay all this shit is just a fucking game so now he laughed man he's seeing he's seeing all these aliens around him of course not everyone is an alien but he's seeing you know people for who they are as you see the bottles in the background submit you know the 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 the, the alcohol in the back telling you to obey conform it's just he's starting to see society for like what it really is and he start cracking jokes on the on the aliens you know what i'm saying they get offended because he he lets them know that he can really see them he really he knows who they really are and that's what the lady the lady say herself she she hop on some type of watch you know what i'm saying and say uh she's like he can see he can really see you know what i'm saying he's she was talking to something on the watch telling telling whoever you know what i'm saying that he could really see then everybody started targeting him you know what i'm saying like all the aliens that was in the grocery store they started targeting him and that's the way he got the fuck on got the fuck up out of there then all the aliens all the aliens that was in society that normal people don't see they start noticing him they start seeing him Cause he knew they knew that he could see them for who they really was so that's when he ran away he ran away from the city even the police officers you know what i'm saying like the police officers some of the police officers was aliens you know what i'm saying so that's when he really just like got the fuck on and as the movie goes on he runs into a guy that he used to work with and you know it took him a while to get his friend to like wake up like they actually got into a fight because he was trying to get the guy to put the sunglasses on so he could see the world just like he seen it he was trying to get him to see the truth and it was a struggle like they was literally fighting for like five six minutes and he finally like got bro to put the sunglasses on so now here they are like trying to get like trying to like end this shit like put an end to this shit you see what i'm saying so they infiltrated some like secret base or some secret headquarters somewhere i forgot and now they're at some elite like get together like some elite place where some power powerful people are but now they don't need the sunglasses now they can just see so he's seeing that the elites at, at the table at the gathering you know what i'm saying they have slits in their eyes so i don't know if they're i don't know if they um uh depicting them as reptilians or like aliens some type of aliens but regardless of the fact they're not human you see what i'm saying and that's what they seeing about you know some of these powerful people you know in, in these elite groups so that's kind of basically like what this whole movie you know was about was just showing you that 
you know, the people that's in power and some of the just regular people that you think, you know, they not really, you know, who you who, who you think they are. And inside job showed the same thing where they were at this elite party and everybody at the party was like reptilians, you know, they referenced to all these different shows like the simpsons too when when he pulled uh when 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 homer pulled the, the 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 politicians when he pulled they they faces off and they was reptilians like this whole like media you know it, they're either aliens reps regardless bro they are not human you know what i'm saying like that's the that's the common denominator that these people are not human so the main character and his friend like infiltrate the news station or they, they infiltrate some some it's it's like a secret base where they have the news stations at. they have like the military like all the powerful people like this is where they're all at you know what I'm saying and the two main characters I guess you can say they infiltrate this base and they start you know killing they start killing people like killing the people that's there like killing all the reptilians and stuff and oh yeah I forgot I forgot to put this main part out bro so what they're trying to do at this at this station they're trying to destroy the frequency that has the people like under mind control so at the at the beginning of the at the uh, beginning of the video uh, a hacker actually took over the television broadcast and claimed that scientists has to have discovered signals that are enslaving the population and keeping them in a dreamlike state so like the music that you listen to that's on certain frequencies like the tv shows that you watch the at the advertisements like everything has frequencies to it so these frequencies they claim that it was keeping the people in like a dreamlike state and the only way to stop it is to shut it off shut off the signal at its source so that's why they infiltrated this broadcast like this 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 building and and to shut off the the signal that had everybody in like a dreamlike state and once once they turned off the signal like they actually succeeded bro like the signal was destroyed but then like everybody like everybody in the world could finally see like what they seen with the sunglasses like now they could like everybody could see it like everybody like it caused like an uproar people start panicking like because people could see like the aliens they couldn't hide no more they couldn't hide no more so regular people was looking at them people was freaking out bro People was freaking out. The way it ended, it was a girl. She was sleeping with her boyfriend. And once that signal went out, she could see that her boyfriend wasn't even a real person. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was it, like, this movie is like crazy, bro. Like, y'all have to watch it, bro. Y'all have to watch it. And it, it's the thing, the thing about it is like, like I said before, this, this isn't just a, a, a regular movie, bro. Like, this was distributed by Universal Pictures. Like everybody can't do that. Like the first week it came out, it ranked number one in the country, and it grossed like six million dollars. Like in the first week it came out. Like even if you look at the cast, the cast of the of the movie, it had Keith David. Like bro was in Princess and the Frog. You know what I'm saying? Like one 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 that the movie, bro. Yeah, Princess and the Frog. Bro was the evil the evil uh the evil character. You know what I'm saying? So it's like. Like, this ain't just no regular movie, bro. Like, this is something that they want you to see. And they put their stamp on it. They let you know that they was behind this movie with the one-eye symbolism. So it's like, like this this is a movie that they wanted the people to see at the time. And mind you, this is in 1988. So probably nobody, nobody probably took this movie serious. Because, I mean, the first cell phone had just came out in like 1981. The computer was invented in like 1970 something so technology was fairly still new so they they didn't have access to the information that we have access to now so most likely when people seen this movie they just looked at it as like a comedy more than like truth it it it, it, it they probably took it as like a hypothetical film like what if life was like this you see what i'm saying that's probably what everybody walked out of the movie theater thinking like damn that's crazy what if life was like that like like, like they was probably looking at each other like damn that's crazy that bro living through that type of shit whole time they was you know what i'm saying like 
really making fun of the people like right in front of you she was like right in front of you bro was probably talking about hey ain't that movie crazy whole time talking to one of them motherfucking you know talking to the talking to the aliens whole time but yeah bro this this movie is is definitely interesting bro i, I definitely uh recommend that y'all watch it you know I, even though i did give y'all like a summary you know what i'm saying but it's some things that i didn't touch on that you should just watch you know especially if you're interested in things like this but that's all i decided to uh come on here and talk to y'all about today man y'all have a good weekend man and i'm out